now let's explore generating a question paper section wise so similar to instant generation the first two steps remains the same so first navigate to the question paper menu select generate question paper and just as an in instant generation complete step 1 and step 2 Now in step 3, select the option generate section wise as we intend to generate the question paper section by section wherein the questions for each section will be generated separately. So now after selecting this option proceed by clicking on generate. Now you will see a blank question paper. The next step involves generating question paper for each section and inserting them accordingly. So for that click add questions which is found at the top of every section within the paper. So upon clicking add questions, a window titled add question will appear. So here the first step is to select the input type based on which the questions will be generated. So the input types can include topic, content, syllabus or even outcome. For this demonstration, let's select topic as the input type. So after choosing the input type as topic, the next step is to select the knowledge level based on Bloom's taxonomy. So this selection determines the cognitive level at which the questions will be generated. So you can choose from various knowledge levels such as remembering, understanding, applying, analyzing, evaluating and creating. So multiple selections are possible here as well. By default, understanding and applying levels are usually selected. But these can be adjusted according to your preferences. Following the knowledge level, the next step involves selecting the difficulty level. So here you can specify the desired difficulty of the generated questions such as easy, medium or challenging. So similar to the knowledge level, multiple selections are possible here as well. The default setting is usually medium but you have the option to modify it according to your requirements. So for this demonstration, I'll choose the medium difficulty level. Now, after selecting the knowledge and difficulty levels, the next step is entering the topic for generating questions within the section. For demonstration purposes, I will input a random topic. So subsequently, click on the search icon. So it may take a few moments for the questions to be generated based on the provided topic. So once the questions are generated, they will display along with their respective knowledge levels. So you can choose the questions you wish to include in the section by selecting them. Since I require 8 questions in this section, I will select a total of 8 questions. So after making the selections, click on insert to add the chosen questions to the section of the question paper. So repeat this process for the other sections. So adding questions until all sections have been populated. So eventually you will have all the necessary questions added to the question paper. Now you can preview it and download it. So this is how section generation is done in questionpaper.ai. Now let's explore how to create question papers in multiple languages using questionpaper.ai. The platform supports various languages allowing users to generate question papers in the language of their choice. For that, first go to generate question paper and just like shown before, the first two steps remains the same. Navigate to the question paper menu and select generate question paper. And just as in question paper generation, complete step 1 and step 2. Now, in step 3, enter the syllabus or topic. For example, if you want to generate a Malayalam question paper, enter the syllabus or topic in Malayalam. Now after entering the Malayalam syllabus, click on the generate button. Now the system will generate a question paper in the Malayalam language. Similarly, you can generate question papers in other languages such as Hindi by inputting the syllabus or topic in Hindi. This platform provides flexibility for generating question papers in multiple languages. So here, as you can see, you can also create question papers in Tamil or any other desired language. Now let's see how to edit and format a question paper. So in the question paper, you can make use of question editor for various formatting options such as uh, making the text bold, italicize, underline, alignment, 
or even adding equations formulas etc if i want to make a text bold simply select the text and click b likewise i for italicize u for underline etc if you want to strike through a text click on the icon you can also change the alignment of the questions by selecting here so you have various alignment options such as left right center alignment etc you can also use superscripts and subscripts for symbols like chemical equations for example uh, co2 o2 or something like that or even the mathematical expressions like a plus b the whole square or any kind of expressions so to add formulas here you can either enter them directly or use the visual math editor so now click this icon here enter the equation and click save it is added into the application or you can use visual math editor in the visual math editor you can make use of the formulas in the side pass here you can select appropriate formulas and symbols and edit them and then copy and paste them into the formula input box then click save so the now the formulas are added into the question paper next to add tables to your questions select the table icon and so here when you right click you can see various options such as insert row and column delete rows and columns tables etc so now populate the tables with the detail you needed to add so after entering the details in the table you can see the table is added into the question paper so this is how you create or add table into the question paper now if you want to insert images click on the image icon and you will be prompted to upload an image from your device you can also resize the image if needed so to remove any applied styles in the question paper use this icon so that the styles that you have applied will be removed so that's all about editor now let's see how to customize a template on questionpaper.ai so to create a custom template first go to manage template section in question paper menu and then select create question paper template so let's say i am creating a template for a model examination so first begin by entering the necessary details such as the template name and its description for instance i'll name the template as model examination then in description i'll describe the section uh, let's say i'm describing it as three sections with mcq short essay and long essay questions so now choose the institution type whether it is school college or others by default it might be set to college now for this demonstration i am opting for college as the institute type then enter the institute name so here i am entering it as abc college of arts and science next specify the evaluation type whether it's based on marks or grades so for this example i'll select marks now enter the duration of the examination in minutes i'll set it to 60 minutes here after entering all the general details now proceed to enter the section specifics so first enter the section name so you have the flexibility to name it as you prefer whether it is part a part 1 section 1 or any other designation so for this demonstration i label it as part a next select the section type so you have various option to choose from based on your requirements such as answer all questions answer any questions alternate questions uh, let it say one each two each to so three each among others so in this section i will choose answer all questions next select the question type so you will find various question types available which includes multiple choice questions true or false questions fill in the blanks questions answer in one word questions short answer question short essay long essay questions case study questions paragraph based questions and survey questions so for this example i'll select multiple choice questions now enter the total questions so here you have to enter the total number of questions expected to be in this section so i'm entering 10 as the total number of questions here following that enter the questions to be answered 
So this indicates the number of questions that need to be answered out of the total questions. Since I have selected answer all questions in the section type, 